Hello everyone, it is the me, Game Penguin 21 and today is a good day if you're a salt miner. Yeah, so if for those of you who may or may not have tuned in for the absolute W take of the Xbox showcase that was this past Sunday, this is probably going to be released on my normal Tuesday upload date, uh, but I wanted to take off and I wanted to get the first day stuff and this is just tweets that I happened to happen on, si on Sunday, just after the PlayStation, uh, the Xbox Showcase. I don't think I'm going to be releasing it today. Again, I might be releasing it to Monday or Tuesday. Tuesday is usually my usually upload date. So if it releases Tuesday, it's been about a couple days. So these tweets are a couple days old, but these are the ones that I found. And I have a lot, so we're going to go through a lot of them today. But uh, how was the PlayStation Showcase in, or not the PlayStation, the Xbox Showcase in my, in my opinion? Uh, considering the fact that I actually went on to Fortanga's live stream and actually watched the showcase uh, through and through and was legitimately entertained, uh, I think it went over well. I would say that it's a solid 8.5 or 9 out of 10. Uh, way better than Sony's stuff. Way, way, way better than Sony's stuff. And to be quite honest, it was just really, really, really good. Uh, and it had a lot of really good games in there. It had a lot of really fun games in there. Uh, and we're just going to go through uh, a, a bunch of these tweets that I managed to screenshot. Uh, again, these are all from day one. I, I just wanted to get a few of them together. So let's just jump straight into it. Um, Avowed, is this game... Is this game uh, the game everyone was hyping up? PS3 level graphics. We're like... Where are the 12 T flops? Dude. Yeah, Avowed doesn't totally look different. Uh, someone else also tweeted about Avowed. We'll get into that one a little bit later. But yeah, Avowed doesn't totally look like a banger ass game, even with all that 12 T flops and stuff. It totally doesn't look freaking awesome to play. I didn't watch that bit. I think it was more earlier in the showcase. Uh, but to be quite honest, it even from this screenshot, even though it looks like it's been bit crushed to garbage, uh, it still looks like a game I want to play. I mean, like this looks kind of dope, uh, and and it, I, 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 I'd probably play it. That's actually really good. Uh, and then Destin agrees, saying that where Avowed looked like Sea of Thieves. I'm so confused. Remember when Avowed looked like this? Ah, yes, Avowed looked like a CGI trailer. There was more of a concept piece as to what Avowed could look like or what Avowed was, and was not meant to be looking at like that because, again, that was a CGI trailer and wasn't actual gameplay. It's almost like downgrades and stuff like this happened, and that was just a CGI trailer meant to build hype. I don't know. I don't know. That seems weird to me. And then the next step we got, but no VR. Almost like no one cares about VR. Except the people who have actually tried it. Exactly. Almost no one, I said, as I said. I'd find it interesting if you said this uh, and that this whole kind of interaction happened because, number one, Xbox isn't in the VR market as far as I can tell. They don't even have a VR headset. To be quite clear on that, it's it's stupid to say, like, oh, there's no VR gameplay in, like, a, a gaming showcase about Xbox. They don't have a VR headset. They don't want a VR headset. They haven't made any moves into the VR marketplace. And they're just focusing right now on making, like, Xbox the console better. It's like, that's... Why did you expect that? Like, I, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not saying that I was a little bit disappointed that they didn't announce, like, a VR headset. A little bit. But that's only because I love VR. And I, I, I personally like VR. And to say that no one cares about VR... To say that almost no one cares about VR... It's just because this person's, like, probably one of the only people that I heard about that, that even cared about VR stuff. And again... Why would they announce a VR game if they're not, like, in the market of VR stuff? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. No Killer Instinct, no Banjo-Kazooie, despite it being the 25th anniversary that, for that incredible, incredible game, game that were, were game that would create an unbelievable amount of hype for Xbox. No Halo, nothing Gears, nothing Doom, nor Wolfenstein, or, and nothing Perfect Dark. Good, but I could have been epic. Eh, I was probably that was probably the bad tone of voice to use in that uh, after I read that. But I mean, <laughs> I'd still say it was a solid again, eight and a half, nine out of ten. It was really good. That direct really kind of brought that score up a lot. So Final Fantasy VII remake, it was a thing that Sony did. Rise two, Lost Odyssey two, Perfect Dark, Indiana Jones. 
Skyland Hill. I'm gonna assume it's supposed to be Silent Hill. Blue Dragon Dino Crisis Gear 6. Dude. None of those games were there, and Final Fantasy VII Remake isn't a multi-plat because I'm fairly certain that Sony basically already did that. And also, Sony paid for the exclusivity rights. Also, some of those games just don't deserve a sequel. I, mean, I don't know. Starfield 30 or 60 FPS. I think you should. it should have been revealed at the showcase. I mean... I... I I have no words. I th he's. I agree with him to some extent, but also it's like, eh, whatever. And then someone just retweeted, coming to PlayStation, which is like some of the games that were actually revealed in their uh, uh, Star Wars Outlaws, Persona 3, Load, Payday 3, which I'm actually fucking excited for. Dude, Payday is going to just make me, like, I saw the trailer for that after the fact, like, dude, that shit looks dope. And a lot of the other games there that are already there. Uh, but I'm fairly certain some of those are actually just first party titles that Microsoft owns and they're just coming to other platforms. Unsure. But still. Okay, cool. This game alone beats everything we saw on the Xbox showcase. Does it? Does it now? Does it? Does it really? No. No, it doesn't. Uh, Spider Man 2 is a good game. It's a great game. It's a fantastic game. Saw the showcase. It looked pretty all right. I would say I I would say I look at it I like it it looked nice uh, but no it 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 may have carried the Sony showcase a lot but no stop capping the look when you realize everyone is calling the Xbox cinematic showcase <laughs> and then he just has the really the 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 fan a really enthusiastic fan. Oh, Red Dragon, you bring all the the, the the best, most stupidest takes to this channel sometimes. Even though you're exclusively on Twitter, whenever I do cover you, it's always really fun to cover you. Anyway, moving on. Lies! And then he goes on to say that uh, Aaron Green then posted about none of our first-party games in the showcase are full CGI trailers. Everything is either in-game footage, in-engine footage, or in-game footage with some cinematics each of our trailers will be labeled so it is hopefully clear for our fans uh yeah now i'm fairly certain it was clearly labeled for the fans and stuff like that he and he did say that none of them are full cg trailers i think there was only one full cg trailers and uh i think that that was hellblade 2 and they they don't work on hellblade 2 uh, as far as I can tell at least at least Aaron Greenberg doesn't work on it on, on hellblade 2 as far as I can tell I'm unsure and then, and then to go on and kind of branch off of that, wow, look at the top trending Xbox games. And it's just like Fable, Starfield, Lin City, Clockwork Revolution, Star Wars Alpha is I-95. Bro, that's just lovely to see. Ponies was also trending, by the way. Uh, I'm going to probably pop that up a little bit later in this, but I, I forget when that is. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot I scratched out of this one. Hashtag PlayStation number one, K Mackie says, Massive L for Xbox and the fanboys clap crying about you do it. Any FPS, too many multiplats still next to zero gameplay for anything. Star Fup looks like trash and boring. Too much Phil Spencer. Potato with banger with bigger snail SSD Xbox showcase and then he just like has a gif of him throwing out L's and shit it's like bro and Sony's was better at least at least Sony showed out like Sony showed off one first party game that's coming to their platform uh I'm fairly certain I looked at the I looked at the statistics 27 games were shown with 20 with most of them being multiplies but like, like like first party studios and then some of them were being like first party game developers especially with like starfield and a lot of other ones like too much 30 fps i think you might have just been watching at 30 fps it might have been your freaking thing and then uh this guy retweets a uh, aaron greenberg are we still able to believe this guy mm, whatever bro Ah, yes, I knew that this was going to happen. So I, I screenshotted this because when I saw that Starfield Direct, I saw this one character and I'm like, they are totally going to make a meme of it. And someone did. 
PS4 game versus next gen Xbox game. To be fair though, that uh Horizon Forbidden West might have been a it's actually more of a cross platform game. It was a PS4 and a PS5 game, so it can take advantage of both. And that is probably more of the PS5 graphics. What I would also like to say is that that is, I think, more from a, the CGI trailer from what I can tell, whereas the other one is actual gameplay. Uh, unsure as to the statistics there, but you can make any screenshot look really nice with a little bit of everything to it. And that might also have been a cutscene, so yeah. Ponies is trending. Yes, this is the tweet. So Ponies is trending. Uh, it's all it's all over for hashtag PlayStation and then stuff. And yeah, this person is 100% an Xbox fanboy. Or maybe they're not, and I'm just fucking stupid. I'm going to say that they're not a, uh, an Xbox fanboy for right now because based on this. Uh, but... The, the ponies was trending. Uh, it was on the trending in gaming stuff. And then there was also, if you look at this, it says avowed and one terabyte SSD. <laughs> Epic. Moving on. All of the games at the Xbox showcase that are also coming to PlayStation. And then he just goes to list off some of these where he has Fallout 76. Uh, and some of the multi-plats, even Payday 3. Again, Payday 3 is gonna make me, it's gonna, I, I, I played Payday 2, like, a fuck ton. I want, give me, give me Payday 3, give me, give it here. Just, like, fucking slams card on people. Give me that Payday 3. And then we got a Horizon versus Fable. When will Xbox Studios start competing with PlayStation Studios? And I'm gonna be honest, this is probably a more accurate representation of how good each studio is. And I would say that they're about even. Like, that, like, like, other than maybe some lighting stuff, but a little bit of lighting stuff, which I think that was actually enhanced in the in the, in the the Horizon Forbidden West thing, both of these screenshots look like a, almost identical. It's like, it's like, corporate wants you to find the difference between these two pictures. It's like, they look exactly the same, I'm gonna be honest. Atlas carried that show the same way Insomnia carried the PS showcase. Otherwise, both were mid to be on a CGI fest all over again. There was exactly one CGI trailer for a big game that was from a third party for Star Wars Outlaws. Really? Uh, everything else was first party was in game or at minimum in engine, which again is like CGI in some ways, but it's in engine, which means it's the basic look of the game. And yeah, and you're saying that Atlas carried that fucking show? Well, they were leaked beforehand, and yet still people are calling it 9s and 10s out of 10. Because Atlas was the bare minimum that was leaked and it wasn't supposed to be. Uh, if you remember that whole story that broke the, the following the week before, that literally one tweet just after the, the Sony showcase, everyone was so upset about it. Like, it was amazing. L, the only thing that carried what about was Cyberpunk. PS showcase was better because it had Spider-Man 2 and MGS3 remake announcement. For MGS3 remake announcement's actually going to be multi-platform, so that's not even really a big issue. PS showcase having Spidey 2 made it a 10 out of 10. If one game makes a thing a 10 out of 10, then Starfield in a lot of cases will probably make us a 10 out of 10 for this. Also, by the way, uh, this a lot of the, the the last two ones as well as the following ones are for the last big pyro one here so someone had an xbox showcase a wrl thing where they show a bunch of all of these uh really cool shits uh and those last two were some responses from that uh and the following is just going to be the responses and we're just going to look at this for the rest of the video because there's some really good ones here i think it was okay i think the lack of game i think it lack of gameplay but at least the games look interesting about look generic starfield looked not bad but not but looked like a huge game that doesn't shine don't want it to be rude with the game but all the game that releases in that time frame armored core 6 spider-man uh, I'm assuming you mean Spider-Man 2, Final Fantasy 16, and many more. I don't think I will pick this one up. I... <laughs> Moving on. Definitely not an L, uh, but next to no gameplay shown for first party, and they announced more new IPs instead of giving us updates from ones they have announced years ago. I mean, they did give an announce. They did give updates for uh, Avowed, which was actually uh, uh, teased a long time ago. They, they knew that a Hellblade 2 was coming out. Uh, they announced that. They still been have been announcing 
Uh, they did give one that was Starfield, and Starfield was announced a while ago. Uh, and they did give a, uh, an update on a lot of stuff. There was a lot of uh, updates and things, even some of the Morrowind things. Uh, next up. Overwatch 2 was the only thing that caught my attention. If only if Overwatch 2 was the only thing that caught your attention, you are starting off on the wrong foot here. SW Outlaws was cool, but we'll see more tomorrow. So, NCP 2027. Oh, Cyberpunk 2077 was okay, but I don't even remember how the base game finished. Uh, there was multiple endings to it, actually, and to be quite honest, I, I liked that, and I think that that might be one of the few things that might draw me back into draw to doing Cyberpunk again. CGI Games Showcase. It was basically the PS Showcase with a lot, with a little bit more gameplay. We didn't get any large gameplay sections from any first parties game shown, except for Starfield, which had a few fucking 30 minute section, but we will just go right beyond that. And they've been announced years in advance before the PlayStation 5 was even announced. Okay. But at the same time, they still announced all this stuff. L, even with the disappointing, even with the disappointing showcase, we all know that PlayStation has the better games to show us. Ah, uh, yes, because things such as MGS, uh, the remake of Metal Gear Solid, uh, one hundred percent carried that showcase and wasn't actually indeed just a multi-plat that Sony paid the rights to actually show off. And that how some of the other multi-plats that, you know, fucking Xbox showed, they had a lot of stuff. And they showed a lot of first party. Like how many first party games did Sony show? Like one or two. But like freaking Xbox showed off like thirteen. Shut the fuck up. Starfield is Xbox's last chance for a breakthrough hit, except for Avowed, which might actually be looking really cool and Maybe some Morrowind and stuff like that. If it fails, they should seriously consider firing Bill Spencer. I mean, maybe, but at the same time, see, the, the, the fucking, like, Starfield had an entire 30 minutes dedicated to it. And let me be honest, that shit, I am just fuming at how much that made me wet, so... And I think that we're going to end it off with this because I don't want to take up too much of your time. We're going to end off well with a very positive note uh, with an evolution drift uh, tweet here. Uh, Fraudcast guy. I'm assuming he means Dreamcast guy. What did you expect? Didn't even bother to do a preview for the Xbox showcase while he makes five videos on the, uh, five videos about a state of play rumors. Guy is a joke. Here's the real gamer who plays games, not brand. Starfield, holy F, from Modern Vintage Gaming. I'm gonna be honest there. Uh, if you don't know, and a really funny quick update to just kind of end this off on a really funny note as well. Uh, Streamcast guy actually ended his fucking stream before the finisher of this, the, the showcase for Starfield. And I was there live for that. It made me crack out laughing. If I had my recording software, I would have loved to have heard him say his last few words. There's probably going to be people that are going to uh, clip it and ship it and put it in videos and stuff. And you cannot wait for it. I will also probably link the Fortanka Plays video of when he updates or when he gets the whole uh, so like Xbox showcase of the Sony Pony Salt and stuff. I'll probably link that in the description or like a pinned comment or something. So look out for that. Uh, but I think that's going to about do it for this episode of Salty PlayStation Fanboys uh, end up crying about shit on the internet. Um, I think that the Xbox Showcase is going to be really cool, and September is going to be fucking stacked. If you didn't realize that uh, Payday 3 had got a fucking release date for September 21st, I am going to nut. Hardcore. That shit looks dope. Oh my god. Please give me more daddy. Anyway, I think that's going to about do it for this uh, whole video. Fluff and nonsense, this is going to be easy. This video was supposed to be totally different, but Xbox Showcase luckily held out for that. So yeah, anyway, my name is GamePenguin21. At PlayStation fanboys, be salty as fuck. And a peace off.
No!